Asha has become a very important platform for newcomers, new playwrights especially, because it it gives them uh, an impetus to create new work, and uh, it gives uh, new groups a platform. And to get a platform where you actually have an audience to watch your show, your opening show, it's the most wonderful encouragement that the NCPA could possibly give. And when at the NCPA, when at a platform like Centre Stage, um, as the playwright, um, you hear that first laugh line that comes when you expected it, uh, when you hear that first gasp that comes from the audience when you wanted it to. There is nothing that beats that incredible high that has you say from the wings, from the stage, from the audience, damn, I got it right. It really gives a platform to stand on. Because there's something for everyone. There are realistic plays, there are very, very experimental plays. As the last couple of years, the lineup that has been there has been very, very eclectic and very exciting. Center Stage is becoming a very important event on the theatre calendar. Uh, personally, for us, uh, we know that November, December, May Center Stage happens, so we actually we plan our schedule according to that. And this should go on happening. It's really lovely for us to be able to open our show, first show of our new production. In you know, in a space like this. This is the first time I'm participating in Centre Stage and I'm very happy to get Centre Stage. Experimental is like one of the mandirs. It is our first time at Centre Stage and I hope the beginning of many more to come. Our whole objective is to support new ideas, and new creations, new ways of looking at things, new ways of defining things. And I think Centre Stage does that by giving an opportunity to plays to be performed for the first time. My performance is called Moonful and uh, it's uh, essentially a movement and visual piece. It's not a realistic play with plot and character and dialogue. It's all about the moon and uh, the effect of the moon in our lives, the connection between the human being and the moon or whether it's the body, whether it's the costume, whether it is the light, the color, the prop and so on and so forth. All of it goes together in order to create uh, metaphors. This is the first time a Slovenian play will be performed in Bombay at the Centre Stage Festival. The play is uh, based on two characters, Zach and Maya, uh, and of course is a play about love. To me it's, it's a play about hope. Um, and the fact that that hope uh, from the very first lines with with a young girl who is walking in um, looking for perfection and she says, I want to be perfect. The play revolves around this uh, Nanima and the grandson. Uh, they are meeting after a long 20 year gap. How this gap of 20 years, why was the gap? How they actually reduce the gap? It's, it's a very it's soft, light hearted, but uh, there's a lot of things that revolves around this relationship of the grandmother and the grandchild. It's, it's a play about uh, about corruption in a small town. Uh, the officials of an uh, of a small town, the mayor and the you know the head magistrate and the police commissioner, they all they all get the news that there is a government inspector who's coming to you know for for rounds. And immediately all of them run into a panic because they've been doing a lot of things that are not right. It's about generally like you know trying to hide all the all the stuff that you've been up to. You can almost reflect what's happening on stage backstage. So you're seeing that art imitates life and life imitates art. So that's what we've done with the government inspector. It's about a British Punjabi family and it's set on the eve of their daughter's 40th birthday in their new kitchen diner. In the beginning when everybody comes together it seems like uh, things are not quite in control, but slowly the drama starts erupting and you realize that each one of the characters has been wearing a mask and as the story progresses further, the masks start falling. We 
have just started our theatre company Patchworks and this is our first uh, piece. It's based on a myth and what we're looking at is uh, gender, fluidity of gender, uh, what it means to be a man, what it means to be a woman. We really enjoy working um, with this whole style of devising work so we picked up a story that we love. plays about Hari Shankar Parasai and how he is going to make a popcorn of all of us. So uh, I have titled the play Popcorn with Parasai and that is a metaphor I am using in this play. Sweet Dreams Are Made of These is all about a man called Daju who is this really khadus old sweet shop man and it's about his relationship with a young boy, a 14-year-old boy called Kabir. And the idea of a boy um, who knows that there is a father, he's come to meet the father, and the father doesn't know that it's his son. That, we've tried to, um, we've tried to go down that path and uh, see how uh, a play evolves around that. The play's theme is basically about what the youth of today's time thinks really. With all the virtualism that our youth has gotten into, so our mobile phones, our laptops and everything. And with coping and with competing with this globalization and the competition, how it is very important for us, for our youth to also know the traditions and the culture that we come from. So it's basically to you talking about these problems with the element of feminism in our society. This is what really my place talks about. So we have created a workshop called Inside Out and the aim of Inside Out is to help people to find what is that inside. The idea of this workshop is to understand what lies within us and what do you work from. So we want to work with intuitive movement, we want to work with consciousness, we want to work with imagination, we want to work with emotions. This workshop doesn't focus on acting and audition and getting into films, but it also is aimed to strengthen people's life forces.